Right now, I am in Marshall's, looking around in the store. I'm hanging out with my guys and with Mom Dukes. She don't like me saying Mom Dukes, but my mom. We're just looking around, trying to figure out what we can buy. Of course, they always playing music. I ain't trying to get copyright, y'all. That's crazy. I think they do that just to get people, not to record. And Burlington's now. Sorry that I cannot vlog as much because they be playing it on music so much. This is an eight and a half, but I'm gonna say my mom like these shoes. I think they are cute too. They're really pretty. Hey, go, um, I think these eight and a half. I'm gonna see if I can find the eight. Eight, yeah, because it's not gonna work. I'm gonna put them back. They're the same ones. Yeah, it's the same ones. Yeah, we're just doing a little bit of shopping today. Yeah, I'm going to find an eight. Okay. I have such big feet according to my immediate family. I got the biggest feet. I weigh eight and a half, nine, but I buy mainly nine. My mom, sister, and niece, they got smaller feet than me. Oh, what's up, Popo? You all right? Oh, they the ones I think I put back. How they working out? Yeah. You tried it on? No, not yet. Okay. See. Yeah, they do have shoes in the wrong spot. Down this way, just to see. Okay. The shoes she got is really cute. They are really pretty. She wanna be black. I meant to say we should be doing brown. These are cute right here, yo. Nah, what's really pretty? I got my tripod in here. I'm gonna use it. The thing about having, um, you gotta take that on the shoe out of here and get it too. Oh, that's cute. I wonder if it's straight. Yeah, it's straight. It's really nice. Watch out, man. Really pretty. I wonder if they have straps. Straps. Oh, they the chain. It's a chain strap. You rather have a regular strap. The chain is all right, depending on what it looks like and how it feels. All right, we'll just put this in for now. There's some nice little stuff in here. Of course. So of course guys, I didn't stop that Chipotle, grab me a bike, a bowl. I'm gonna grab what I want to eat. Which is a bowl all the time, I always get bowl. And that's about it. Then uh, I'm gonna run to a couple more stores, and then I have to go and meet my aunt here, and that's my typical Saturday for today. Hey, so we are out the store. We had left out of Burlington's and went into DSW, and let me tell you, Mom had found some nice shoes. She found three pair of nice shoes. I think she got two pairs from out of Burlington's and a pair from out DSW. And I really like the way that they look. She said they are comfortable, so I'm excited about that. It is cold out here today. 
And so we're on our way over to my aunt's house. She wanted me to do her hair. So I'm going to go over there and put some color in her hair. And that's just about it. So we back in the house. And I'm about to, I think I'm about to do my hair. I don't know. I think I'm going to, um, I don't know what I want to do. I want to at least start on my hair. Because I think it's going to take a couple of days to do exactly what I want to do to it. But my aunt had gave me some henna. And this is the deep red. And this is, what kind of stuff? Oh, a burgundy. Right there. So I was going to do this. I never did the color. I always done like the blacks or the browns mix it up with the coffee and stuff like that but it takes like eight to ten hours for it to sit after you mix it all up like the little batter so i'm still trying to figure out i need the little instructions that come with it if i want to do a color in my hair or should i just i don't know because my hair seems like i still have like some brown in my hair so I don't know if I want to um just dye my hair dark or um what I should do for but I know it needs a good washing and it's way overdue of me getting my hair retwisted so I don't know what I want to actually do. I don't know, we'll see. I did start putting this in there. I'm gonna make this next one. I guess the longer that it sit, it um turns the color light. I guess. So I'm gonna do that. At least it is eight to ten hours, but once I make this up. Echo. What time is it? It's six forty eight PM. Okay, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve, one, two, that so two almost three o'clock in the morning will be at least eight to ten hours. Five, even five. So, like maybe six in the morning, five, six, it'll be perfect blend. And it'll be enough time for me to go ahead and start this. But I don't know if I want to do this. I, know. I do want my hair to be all one color, but I don't like that brown either. Comment down below if anyone ever tried the um, vegan hair dye. I, like I said, I, I did before. I used to use it and with my locks. But it was like the brown colors. I never tried the red colors. So I want to see if it's going to come out red. Like, But on here it says that. Where would I see that? Um, this henna cannot lighten your dark hair color. So what I think was, what happens is you got to keep using it to brighten your hair. And then it'll wind up being like this color, I guess. I don't know. So. Even that burgundy. I rather had that burgundy. That's more subtle color. Because I used to wear my hair in crimson all the time. So, I don't know. But I'm going to finish mixing this stuff up and... I'll let you see the consistency of it. Alright. Okay, so this is the consistency that they're looking for to you having. They said it's more like a pancake or a cake batter. You don't want it too thin and you don't want it too watery. So it did come out to be that red. I only just used the warm water. And they also saying that you have to put some kind of essential oil into this mix. Because henna can have a funny smell. And the one I prefer will be the peppermint oil. And 
And if you have some grays in your hair, you can also add in some apple cider vinegar. So this will be the peppermint oil you all use. So I just did four drops of the peppermint oil. It's funny because they say that we have to sit this out for eight to ten hours, and if you if it dries up, you just pour a little bit more water in it to moisten it back up. So I'm gonna do a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. I mean a half a uh, cap, just for the grays that I had. I'm disrespectful grays. So all I'm going to do is just stir it around until it kind of, the lumps kind of thin out some. And I'll be coming back. So I'm about to wash my hair and get it prepped for the henna tomorrow. Get all this gel and stuff out my hair. Hey, so I just wanted to show you how it look. I don't want to, um, you see how bright it is? It don't look like that ruby red or whatever it was that was on the packet, but it got lighter a little bit. I'm not sure if it's going to come out like this, but um, sometimes with those hennas, you got to keep, keep doing it like once a month and it get lighter and lighter and lighter like that. Because um, I'm not putting bleach in my hair. If I can't get my hair light, then I mean, I'll just keep wearing it dark. But this is a light brown, so what I have to do now is put um shower cap over my head for like three hours or more. The longer you keep it on, um, the longer it's supposed to, you know, do its thing. So we'll just see. So right now, you'll see the color that it is. I'm trying to get it all in there. It looked like some spots. It's not, but it's okay if it doesn't um, hit the way it's supposed to because I will just I got more um the other pick um that my aunt gave me so I'll just try that the following time the next time I do it so I probably just do this like once a month or something like that and um you yeah, know just see how it comes out just trying something a little different like I said I tried it before but it was the dark colors so I just don't want to show too much because I don't have a bra on I didn't want anything touching this stuff because it stains really good. It's really messy too. So this is it. This is the color. So I'm about to put a shower cap on and I guess I will show you the final results once I'm done. Hey. So I'm at work right now, so I'm just going to show you like, it took a little bit, I'm trying to stand by a light, how you can see like the lighter parts of it, it took like some at the ends, it took like some like at the ends, so some is really like, it's probably the parts that was already like in my heat, but this is cool, it won't matter. Just like I just dyed the tips on my hair. So. Mm -hmm. So, I'll show y'all once I, um, 
get like outside where it's a little bit more brighter. But that's how it looks. Hey y'all. As you can see, this is a whole nother day. <laughs> This was actually a work day, and it has been a long ass day. You hear me? I've been trying to like take it easy today, but it just ain't work for me. You know, I've been up since five thirty this morning. It's eleven twenty one, so it is what it is. I had couple emergencies today on my way going to pick up my child and my car act like it wanted to give me trouble so I had to call for call a friend to help me out got that accomplished I ran out to do other stuff everything cool on my way home just now parked my car to go in the house the brakes light wouldn't even go out. So I'm Googling like, what in the world? I ain't never heard of a brake light not going out. So I'm like, hold on. So I'm like, okay. So I Google, you know how we Google everything, right? And they talking about like a sensor or something like that. And I'm like, a sensor? If I keep that light on, when I wake up tomorrow to start the car, it ain't going to start because the battery going to die. Which meant I had to bring the boys in the house because it's so cold outside. Pull my toolbox out to get some pliers to unhook the battery. So I had to do that. So it was a, it was crazy, man. It was a really crazy day. Really crazy. I mean, it was a it was a beautiful day because of go of course God created this day, but I'm just like, oh man, I'm just like tired, like for real, really really tired. I'm about to take this little thing off right here, y'all know I be wearing my back brace like I don't know what. Just to give you an update, this thing is just like dynamite. I'm telling you, it feels so good. And, um, like I said, I wear it every day to work, every single day. This part of my uniform. So, I'm going to have to be wearing this thing. Hold on me. Oh, shoot. I'm grateful. Let's see if y'all can do that. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing this thing every day. I love it. Tighten up my arms. You know, it just be really good. I don't like it to be too tight. Like that. That's right here. This is really comfortable. Y'all, I was going to pick the camera up with the first issue that I had today. I said, I I, I don't even want to pick up the camera because every day ain't a good day. You know what I'm saying? And today wasn't, a, it was good the first part of the day. But after that, it really wasn't. I was kind of sad. I was even crying. I got emotional a little bit because. And, like, these be the days I be like, damn, I really don't got no man. You know what I'm saying? Where my, where my man at? Do I got to take something in consideration? Nah, I just don't got no man. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, you got friends and stuff that you call or whatever like that. So, I got to keep that on that. Now, that's that on that, for real. Because, I mean... When you got, like, little car troubles and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, who can you call? But I think I got emotional because y'all know what I'm about to say. I always call my brother. I'm so used to him, man. I'm just so used to him. If I don't ask him to come, I'll ask him and he'll know right away what's wrong. He'll just tell me so I know what I need to do, you know? So that was a little emotional for me besides just, like, you know, when you try and get things done and stuff like that, and then it be little obstacles in your way that be trying to like hinder you from doing what you gotta do. But I, I'm I'm that type of girl, like I'm a go getter, like I'm a workaholic, you know, and 
When things got to get done, I don't like to sit around for no guy. You know what I'm saying? And do nothing for me. I'm going to try my best to do it. Mow my own lawn. You know what I'm saying? Fix light bulbs. I know y'all been hearing that smoke detector going off downstairs, but I'll get to it. Or sometimes I'll just call the fire department to let them fix it. You know what I'm saying? Things got to get done, you know? So, I mean, my father, he's older now. I don't ask him to do anything, like, you know, as far as maintenance on things. You know, my father was 70, 70, 70 plus. So, no, I wouldn't ask him to help me do anything. He can tell me what things are. So, that's good, you know. But, yeah, y'all, I'm going to just get myself together. And I just love how my roots feel in my head from that henna. It felt, my hair felt so good. It really did. And usually in the wintertime, my scalp be like, <coughs> like, whoa, man. But it felt so good. I got a little oil in it, but this that henna. That henna felt so good. But, y'all, I'm about to undress, get myself ready for tomorrow. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully, prayerfully, tomorrow be about a day. So I'll holler at y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all. Just getting off from work. We got a couple irons to run. As usual. Always got irons to run. Put this window up. I don't have like that card thing in here. So I got y'all just sitting like that until I put it in here. But I'm going to take my son and go get his hair cut. I don't know if I got time tonight or not to go get my nails done, but I wanted to go get my nails done. I'm just too long to go get now from work. And uh, I'm going to need a snack and I had went to the mall and uh, my hair got those um, cinnamon pretzels they're really good but you know let me tell you yesterday wasn't a good day for me again it was not a good day. It was a blessed day, but it wasn't a good day for me because I was just going through so much stuff. Plus, I don't know what's going on with these yellow buses. These yellow buses is really getting on my nerves. Like, they hold me up so bad in the morning. As far as the kids daycare, babysitter, all that stuff, I already have that set up when it's though when they out of school half a day, even though I still feel like they get out of school way too much than we used to. I know that. But it just seemed like I don't know what it is. People not trying to go to work. I don't know what it is. But the bus driver, my son bus driver cannot pull off unless it's an 8 on that bus. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because I gotta go to work and my child, my son, my other son gotta go to school. So he's supposed to be the first one to get on a bus and they be late. It's not the bus driver's fault. It's just whoever not coming to work, whoever quitting, whatever it is, low, short staff, whatever it is, it's just really getting on my nerves. So if anybody that needs a job in Baltimore County City because they need some aids on that bus so them bus drivers can pick these kids up for school in the morning so the parents can go to work. You know what I mean? The other children can go to school. It's just crazy how things be and get on my nerves. It's just been really crazy these last couple days. But I'm just glad that I survived it, you know. 
I really survived it without complaining too much. I try not to complain about things, but I can honestly say I survived it, you know? But yeah, we um on our way. I wait until my son first, and then we're gonna go on to the barber shop. Hopefully, I'm trying to figure out right now if I can be able to um if I can't get my nails done today, if I don't have time, I'm gonna just go ahead on tomorrow. Like it's about to rain. You like it? Yes. All right. bike to eat came back to eat it so now we about to prepare ourselves for the work day tomorrow in school and uh that's about it but i did get my nails i just got a dark burgundy i like um dark burgundy and real short i have to get my nails short because i work and no matter what i do on my job i feel like i still need short nails that long nails will hinder me some people know how to work with long nails and do stuff but i can't especially dealing with my clients and stuff so i just kept it short and sweet and stuck with one color i used to go all out and get like little designs and stuff way back in the day but i don't do that now if i do all that um fancy stuff i gotta be not working absolutely not working at all to rock that because I work hard and it's some things that do not require nails because I don't want to pinch nobody's skin I don't want to hurt myself you know in the process of wearing those long nails at work you know what I mean and uh, I really like my son's haircut it's really nice the owner actually did it y'all know I go to that one I told y'all about a while back um, how classy it is and there that they're actually in like tuxedos almost the way that their uniforms are very elegant place they play jazz music and i like that environment for my boys so that's why i take him to go get his hair cut and i paid one of my girlfriends to do my youngest boy here so one of these days i'll be attacked in mine pretty soon maybe the next day or so but I'm about to end this vlog now, guys. I thank you so much for coming to my channel. Hey, when you check this video out, don't forget to give me thumbs up, okay? And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.